this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. <laughs> and uh, wait, did I did I actually forget my intro? How many years have I been saying? Wait, hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver. Good morning, Polly Reindeer. At least I remember the uh, the names of my friends. I think I was a bit frazzled. Just because um, I realised that uh, I started to, uh, to do the video and I wasn't recording my audio. Obviously I am now because I realised <laughs> before I started. <laughs> but I think that messed me up a little bit. Anyway, something that I will not forget to do is uh, eat my breakfast. Nom 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 nom. Delicious. Barnaby is not up in his little loft, as uh, as you can see. That's because he has spent the night in the doghouse. Just because we uh, have recently revamped the doghouse and now it's looking all fancy and pretty, uh, I thought I'll let him uh, hang out with his uh, doggy friends uh, in there. Maybe he'll stay there for a little bit. I'll leave it up to, to him. Uh, so yeah, that's where Barnaby is. Do not panic that he is not there. Uh, but yeah, today uh, I'm going to be adding someone to my love garden. And uh, the person I'm adding to my love garden today is Mars. And the reason I'm adding Mars is uh, because of this picture they sent me, and it's uh, of me, Mittens, and Barnaby. And we always look like we're like, kind of like floating through the air, or like almost like underwater. And uh, they said, I've been watching your videos since I was seven, and you're still my favourite Minecraft YouTuber. Watching your videos has always made me happier. I really hope you see this. I've spent about two hours on it, and I did see it, and I love it. So thank you for doing it, and welcome to my love garden. Uh, right then, let's go over to uh, to said doghouse and uh, choose which dog uh, we're going to be uh, joining with us today. Which one will be joining us today? There we go. That's the uh, that's the way you speak. Um, and then um, yeah, we're going to teleport uh, to the Funland and we're going to start building a brand new game. But whoa! Everyone who didn't see the last episode is freaking out about the uh, the new doghouse, either because they love it or they hate it, and they. Don't want ever, don't want it to change from how it was before. I am happy with it. We've also made some improvements. The uh, the bridge, uh, as you can see, will not kill the dogs anymore. It's uh, it's a little bit steeper, so those dogs will be fine. And all of the uh, the roof is uh, perfectly symmetrical. So uh, for those of you crazy people that try and rebuild my world, uh, good luck trying to, to rebuild this. Here's your glance at it. Anyway, uh, who should we have uh, joining us? Um, Gregory Jr., you can uh, you can join us today. I'm not sure the uh, the last time you joined us. Until I'll uh, bring a snack for you: bone, beetroot stew, or uh, or uh, or pork chop. Uh, do you want to decide, or do you want me to decide for you? Okay, let's see what what's he uh, what's he going to pick? What's he going to go for? And I think he's chose the pork chop. Big surprise, big shocker. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, grab this, and uh, we'll go to the uh, you but there teleporter. And then yeah, once we get to the uh, the fun land, I'll explain what the uh, the game is that we're building. I'm looking forward to this one. I think this one is uh, is quite unique, uh, which isn't easy for me to do something unique, seeing as I've done a uh, a fair few episodes, nearly 800 episodes. I've built quite a lot of mini games, but I. I think this one is unique, but uh, yeah, you can let me know what you think. But first, let's go in here, pull the lever, press the button, and we can teleport off to the Funland. Okay, I think I should be now at the uh, the Funland. So let me show you uh, where, what we're uh, where we're building and what we're building. Uh, so um, I was trying to think of yeah, yeah new mechanics that I've not played around with, and I had the idea of doing something with a bell because I've not used a bell yet. Uh, and so I was like, well, what's unique about the bell? But all of the games I was coming up with were all like games where you kind of, you're doing a thing and then at the end you just ring the bell, but it wasn't really using what was unique about the bell. So I was kind of looking up what they can do. And basically there's loads of different ways to ring the bell. You don't have to just like place it and just click on it. You can also like shoot like a, a bow at it. You can like, you can just throw items. Like if you just throw my axe at it. Okay, if I don't miss it. If I don't miss it again, come on. <laughs> There we go. It will set it off. You can throw snowballs, you can throw eggs, you can throw enderpearls. There's all sorts of different ways to set it up. So I had an idea of a game where there'd be a bell in a room. Three of the, the players would be in the room with it. One of them would ring the bell. As they do, it will open a doorway so the fourth player will come in and they need to work out who rang the bell. So they're almost like a little detective trying to work out who did it because the other people could like fake, like someone could get a fishing rod and put it nearby or someone could like set it off and then quickly turn away and so basically you get points if you work out who rang the bell so there we go that's the uh, the idea of the the game so today we're going to be building the uh, arena 
uh, that the game is going to be in. So this I've marked where the bell's going to be because it's very important to get this area right for the whole rest of the uh, the game to, to work. And all oh, this is this is the wrong way round though. So basically, we're going to have a uh, observer block here, uh, which is going to be um, the thing that's going to detect when the the bell is rang. Uh, so then the um, the, uh, the door will open so this needs to be facing up so i might need to go i might actually have to dig go like under the floor and look up just to get this the right way around and then the bell's going to be on top of it uh but yeah we're not going to worry about the the rest of the uh the redstone today uh just because i think what we're doing today is going to probably take us a whole episode anyway uh, i don't have confidence that we'll get the the rest done so yeah that uh, is going to be there and then where where's the bell okay then the bell uh, is going to be oh <laughs> sorry gonna gonna have the bell back i know you didn't mean to steal it you were just trying to feed it carrots by the look of things thank you so yeah then the bell's going to be on top of it so eventually it's going to be dangling from a chain i guess so I guess I could do that now. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how high it's going to be. Uh, but the reason you do it dangling from a chain and not placed... Uh, or it could be dangling from anything, I guess. Uh, is because uh, if it's placed on the ground, you'll see that it kind of builds like little bits around the side of it and then you can only ring it from certain angles but if you do it dangling then it's just completely open and no matter what direction you're on uh, you can ring it and that sound is going to get very annoying very quickly when we're actually uh <laughs> when we're actually playing the game all right then let's get started so yeah first things first we're going to be building out of mangrove mainly uh, which is exciting because i have uh, i've yet to, to build anything properly out of, uh, of mangroves that's going to be cool and uh, we're going to be doing a, a whole bunch of, uh, of half slabs uh, as well as blocks to kind of made a uh, make it like a tier system so basically if i kind of go and do the first bit going around oh no that looks too close actually uh yeah if i do the first bit uh once that's done it will end up being really simple so i need to be two blocks away from both this side and these two sides here so i need a gap of two and then the uh the half slab a gap of two then the half slab then this will kind of just fill in diagonally like that and then once we get uh we need to go yeah once we get to here it's going to go down there like that and uh, down here like this uh, as well and then we basically just build like up and out so uh, this row will then just be like normal blocks uh, so it kind of makes kind of like a, a natural staircase and so then the one after this uh, will obviously be blocks then with half slabs on top of them and then we kind of just keep building up and out the whole way around so let's go and uh, yeah if you place the blocks and i can go put the the half slabs on top of the the blocks there like that the only thing we want to make sure we do uh, when doing this is we don't want to always build up from the, the ground. Yeah, so yeah, don't build up from the, the ground just because I want to make a, a cool pattern uh, from the, the outside. Because this wasn't the intention, but I realized it kind of accidentally made like the shape of a boat. <laughs> and I just quite like that. It kind of just like fit in quite well. So the plan is, is to try and keep that. So if I do... Uh, right, let me, let me do this from the top so I don't get confused. So we got uh, half slab block block and half slabs here then this is a block here so on the outside of here it needs to be a block and then a half slab so yeah i can just do these blocks around here this is fine uh, and then i'll do the uh the half slabs going uh, on top of these is this all done right yeah i think this is right no yeah no this needs to go and be half slabs along the top of there like that so it just goes uh it just goes one out i think do maybe this middle bit's the easiest bit and then linking it up uh, around the the outside so tell you what this is actually really difficult to build of us all building in the same place at the same time if i leave you guys you carry on doing that i'll start kind of doing some of the uh, the rest of the the other directions uh decorations sorry that are going to be in the area so uh the other block oh uh, you may have noticed because it's the other block that my pockets are completely full of uh, are going to be jungle planks and uh, basically what i did is i just put down the uh, the mangrove blocks because i knew i wanted to use them just because i haven't used them before and then you and whoa oh we got like oh there's like a proper cave down here Oh, well, I've been, I've been down here before. It's all lit up by, by torches. You know what? This might actually be quite handy because we do have a little bit of redstone. Nothing nothing major. Don't panic. But it means I won't need to, to dig out like a, a giant cave to, in order to do it. I just need to to watch uh, watch myself a little bit here. You know what? This is actually the perfect place because that, that cave is like exactly uh, where we're going to need to do the, uh, the redstone. So all the redstone is going to be is, as I said... Uh, when you ring the bell, it's going to pull down a piston, uh, which allows the other person to to enter into the uh, the arena. So it's going to be very simple, just a just your basic T flip flop, the classic T flip flop. That's basically all it needs to be under the ground and a trail of redstone. So as I said, we don't need to stress about that too much. Uh, but yeah, I've already explained why we're we're designing it in this way. It's not just as a way to look cool. 
the plan is is to give loads of like options for for places where the uh, the person who rang the bell is because if it was just on like level ground if i was here i wouldn't be able to ring the bell because i wouldn't be able to throw this far enough but with the other uh, tiered system i could stand here and i could be quite far away but i could throw it and still ring the the bell so it's just a good way for people to surround it in different ways and of course like you could do things like i could shoot an arrow to try and miss the bell but when they come through you could be like oh wait there's an arrow from that side did that ring the bell and obviously yes yeah, snowballs eggs there's going to be like a a whole giant like array of uh, of different things that the uh, the person could have uh, in order to to build it so uh, here uh, this is going to be where the uh, the person uh, will be waiting uh, in order to, to go through. So it's just going to be like a little hallway here. And then on this area, uh, there's going to be a block that's going to come down. So I don't have the piston, but yeah, that block is going to drop down here. Uh, and so this is where you're going to be blocked off, so you won't be able to, to see uh, on the uh, the inside. Uh, and then uh, here, this will mark where the wall will be. So this just needs to line up with all of this here. So I think we need to build all of this out by one more, so it then matches up with this line here. I was kind of just doing it like eyeballing it at first. But you can see I was kind of made like a... um. Like a, a bit of like a, a boat shape uh, from the front here. It kind of looks like a, a bit of a, of a, of a giant boat. Uh, so let me make sure this is going high enough down here. So it should go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it should go up eight. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay, so we need to go up by one more here. So that just it just needs to be one row of just blocks by the looks of it. Yeah, because it was half slabs there. So if I, I can kind of just from the outside here, actually. So this is going to be the uh, the top of that area here. And actually, that looks good. It kind of makes it more gradually slope in like that. And then uh, let me go and build a little bit more of this wall up. Uh, but then it's just going to be some more uh, of the uh, the jungle wood uh, on the uh, the top of that on the the outside as well, uh, and then just some fences as well, which don't really have like any real practical purpose, uh, but they're just there just to look good and just to, to keep up with the uh, the the contrast. So mechanically, the game is very very simple. I mean, you could even if you wanted to do like no redstone at all, which is I know uh, how <laughs> a lot of people like to build their things. You could just do it so someone's on the other side of a door, like maybe do it as like a um. I think it's the dark oak door or a spruce door that doesn't have any windows in. Sorry, spruce door. What am I? What am I saying? Um, you could just do it when they hear the bell. They then just kind of like barge into the the room. You wouldn't actually need to do it with any redstone at all if you wanted to. I just kind of like automating things just because I think it, uh, it looks a little bit nicer. Uh, so right, I need to make some of this jungle wood into jungle half slabs. Uh, once again, this is mainly just for decoration, but it's also just a, a way to to like stop anyone falling out the the top of the the game. Uh, so around the back here, uh, it's going to be this uh, this jungle wood. We're going to go up by two there, uh, and then we're going to build across by a uh, a block like this. Uh, and then we're just going to do a half slab along the underneath like that. So it's just like a little small opening, just so you don't feel too enclosed. And then I guess it's some of the, the sections are along the top here. Uh, oh yeah, I can't do that because of the, the half slab. Uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just maybe do this as like a little column, as if that's like the, the thing holding it uh, all across there like that. Uh, we'll do the same along this section here. Although we won't be able to go all of the way uh, just because we're going to have to fit some redstone in. So I think about here, we're going to have to turn it and actually just fill it fully in with blocks. So how far out was that? I was just out by two, I think. So if we go out by two and then the rest of this bit will be half slabs along there like that. Uh, and then blocks along the other uh, the top like that. And I think it just looks quite nice. As I said, I was just kind of putting down all of the different options for the, the types of wood that we could do. And I felt like the, the jungle and the, the mangrove just looked the best. I think it's because maybe they both got like a of a ready like tinge like a red tinge to them uh, so i think that's kind of why they ended up uh they ended up matching up so it's kind of like accidentally ended up being quite a, a nice looking game which is always what i enjoy because there's some games where like i designed the mechanics of it but I'm like, oh god, this looks so boring. I need to like somehow like jazz it up to, to make it look nice. And then some games I just kind of build mechanically, and then I really don't need to like change very much about them at all. And then it just kind of like coincidentally ends up looking quite cool. And this whole like boat <laughs> aesthetic, which we kind of ended up with here, uh, just kind of ended up completely by accident, just because it was a was mainly just like a, a practical thing. Uh, so oh, one other thing we do need to do mechanically down here 
is that I'm going to put add one square in the floor. And this is something that you might not need to do if you're building the game yourself, uh, but for me it makes sense. And this is basically just a place to stand to mark who is going to be the person uh, that is going to be the, the one who's throwing at the bell. Because you only can have one person throw at the, the bell each round. So basically, uh, because my helpers don't talk, sometimes we may need to communicate uh, without speaking. So we can just have someone stand here and then the person outside the door won't be able to, to see them. Uh, right, and then this needs to be be jungle wood down here but as i said there's going to be a, a whole bunch of redstone underneath there and then yeah i need to make some fences i can see that william has uh, has done a, a start so we're going to just put some of these mangrove uh, fences uh, all along the uh, the the top up here let me just place down that block so i can get to the the top up there so obviously on these sections they're all going to link up like a, a normal fence uh, but then as we get to the uh, the diagonal bit uh, then they're going to be kind of just like little poles poking out at the, the top here and I don't mind that it just makes it look a, a little bit more different a little bit more interesting and these are here for absolutely no reason <laughs> these are just here because they look good because I think like from the inside it looked quite cool with like the, the contrast of the two different blocks but obviously on the outside uh, you can't see that and so this is just a, a way just to add a little bit more of the uh, the mangrove colour on the outside so yeah this is going to go the, the whole way along that top bit at the the back there so right let me break away that uh, before I forget about that and uh, let me go and do a little bit more of the uh, the decoration here so there's going to be like a little bit of a like a redstone gully here so that needs to go right up to to where I built those um those half slabs and then that's going to go all the way to the top here and then this is where we're going to fit our redstone in here and it really only needs to be a trail of redstone going up so you know what? I can dig away these little edges like that and just build this going all the way up to the the top up there and then on this little in between bit I can do some fences uh, so yeah Polly could you build up the the rest of this jungle up to the top up there as well please just to save me having to, to climb up there <laughs> while William just goes and celebrate yeah if you could just carry on do the the top of that section there and then the only other thing that I need to do is I need to link this uh, this all up with how the uh, the chain is going to be because at the moment uh, you may notice that the the chain is just kind of like randomly floating up at the the top up there which doesn't look too great uh, so I'm gonna need to um to, to finish the the rest of that area there I gave myself the exact right amount of chains I believe so I should be able to get the uh, the height exactly as it needs to be right I'm gonna go up and join my my helpers up at the the top up here so basically out of this section here uh, this is going to go, if you back off one second, William, this is going to go up here, and I believe, well, tell you what, let's, let's do the chains, because then, then I'll get the, the height right, and then we'll link that up from the, uh, the other side. So I believe I can just kind of, like, nerd pole up using the chains. Uh, luckily I'm wearing my, uh, my stampy style boots, so it won't hurt me. Uh, so yeah, I can build this up like that, then there's going to be a, um, a block on the top here. Actually, I might do this as a, as a staircase here. But I need to do a crafting table, and I know there's a crafting table literally right underneath here, but I can't be bothered to, to go down. So let's do this just to make, make a few of these stairs so I don't run out. So yeah, if we do stairs there like that, there we go, that lines up, and then this will go uh, all the way along here. Uh, just because I, I tend to, to not like leaving things floating, and I'm sure you could probably point out plenty of exceptions in my lovely world where I've left things floating, but generally I don't like leaving things floating too much. So there we go. This can go down here like that until let's do like another stair there, and then uh, let's do another stair at the top there, and then we can go and build the, the rest going down there like that. So all right, let's go. Let's go break away my horrible crafting table column <laughs> that I've built there, and then yeah, I can take it a step back, and we'll get a good idea what this game's going to look like. Uh, as is. Uh, pretty much uh, usual for now. I have not come up with a, a name for this uh, this game yet. It'll probably be called something like Ring the Bell or Who Rang the Bell. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to somehow need to have Bell in the title of the game, seeing as that's what the uh, the whole thing's are about. But yeah, uh, this is what the uh, the game looks like on the uh, the inside, I think. Uh, it looks uh, it looks pretty cool. So, of course, when we do the redstone, it will change slightly. Because there's going to be a piston here, uh, we're, we'll probably block this off with just a few blocks coming down here like that, just so you won't see the, the piston. And oh yeah, one other final thing uh, as well, is uh, I'm going to add some uh, some glass in uh, going around the uh, the top here like this. So if I start it on this level here, uh, the reason for this is it's just basically another platform uh, that players can stand on uh, in order to to try and like throw things or, or fire things at the the bell. And the reason it's glass rather than uh, the um, the the wood that we've used for the rest of it is because when the person kind of charges in to try and work out like who's where and who did what, it means they'll be able to see them. So say if I'm standing here behind this block. 
I hear the bell ring and it lifts up and I run in. If there's someone up above me, I'll be able to see them immediately because obviously they can start moving around once you uh, you come into the the game. So the reason uh, I did it glass was uh, was just uh, for for that. Uh, but yeah, this is basically how the game's gonna be. Oh, you know, what? I might add. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm gonna. This is what I always do. Like I finish it and then I keep just thinking of ways I could change it. I might do like a little stair there just to make that look a little bit more uh, rounded off. But yeah, apart from that, it is uh, is basically done. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give Gregory Junior uh, his lunch because um, uh, if I didn't, everyone would tell me off for uh, for being such a bad dog owner and forgetting about it. But there we go. I did not forget to to feed you. And it looks like we also have a sheep here. Would you like some bread? Do you eat bread? I'll leave it there in case you get pecky. Oh, you probably eat bread. You might eat some bread. Let's leave some uh, some bread there for the chicken. There we go. We've got to feed feed everyone uh, as well before the end of the uh, the episode. But speaking of the end of the episode, that is uh, it here. So in the next episode, uh, we will uh, come back and we will uh, fine tune everything and get the uh, the game working. Maybe have a bit of a test around uh, as well, just to see whether the uh, the game is working the way I hope it will be. And then, of course, we'll be uh, coming back here uh, to play the uh, the actual game. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. But apart from that, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!